Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you like what you see today, make sure you press that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're notified of the, any uploads, smash that like button, and comment. Today, uh, we went to uh, East Texas Poultry Trays Day in Gilmer, Texas, and we picked up some new animals on the farm. We've had some that I'm building this pen for, but also we picked up some new animals today. So I went to Lowe's earlier and bought these 10 by 10 chain link scents dog kennels. I'm gonna put them side by side. And one group of animals are gonna go away over here and another group going over here. You can see I've already got them a piece together a little bit. I was trying to determine how I was gonna do it. Luckily, I'm gonna have one extra panel because I'm gonna be joined, just use the center one and have them together. You see the black trough in the back. You'll see later on in the video why that's back there. Y'all follow along and uh, we'll get to work. I'm putting it in this area because in the mornings when the sun's coming up, the barn, I'm on the back side of my barn. The barn blocks the shade, I mean blocks the uh, sun. And then when it gets up, about noon, the trees here block it. And then when it, it starts to get the heat of the day, I got a bunch of trees over here to my left that these will be in the shade probably about 70% of the time. I am gonna come back eventually, not today, but I'm gonna put a, a tarp over top. They're pretty simple to put together. Now this corner here, I've got a low spot. So what I was gonna do, I was gonna put a brick here to raise it up. And I've got two pile, three piles of dirt. I'm gonna come over here, load up some dirt in a wheelbarrow, fill this spot in. Now I'm gonna move dirt in here. So before I put the gate, the front one on this one, I'm gonna move all the dirt in here around this black trough. I'm putting a brick there because, like I said, I'm gonna put dirt in here, so the dirt's gonna be real loose and not so compact. I put the brick on there, it's down there. The ground below the brick is, you know, good and compacted. And the brick also is solid. So I don't have to worry about it sinking. It might drop a little bit, but if you just put the straight dirt, it will dip in that area. So before I, I'm gonna put this end on. Move this gate. Thank <laughs> you. 
and put another brick right there. down I lost one of the bolts there it is Whew. it was hiding underneath the, the panel I like this because later on, say, I want to move it out. I can buy another set, and it comes with three, three solid pieces and one with a door. Well, setting it up like this right here, I have one extra wall because I'm just using one in the center instead of having two separate pins. So when I buy, if I buy another one, I can extend it out another 10 foot. Just move the doors put three panels one each side and it'd be a 10 by 20 area which i probably will extend it out and buy another one that sun before i go much farther i'm gonna i'll move some dirt in
earlier this year the county was clearing out the bar ditches and uh they asked if they could dump some of the dirt and stuff over here i let them dump three loads because you always need some dirt and uh, this is the low spot some of it's a little high because when my dad was clearing off for the barn he moved some of the dirt in here in his gully and fill it fill it up so i'm just gonna go ahead i'm probably just gonna put one more load right inside the the thing and i'll be done here i'm probably gonna have to put three or four load the dirt there so uh when i'm done i'll uh come back well guys i, I told y'all we went to the east texas poultry trays day today in gilmer texas and uh we picked up some new animals uh i won't be able to say the name right but i will have it posted in the video here the the trio We got a tom and two hens. Uh, these turkey, it starts with an N, Naga. Naga something, I don't know what they are, but. That's the tom. And there's his two girlfriends. And then uh, I picked up some, some new pullets. And my wife picked up some silkies. You got these silkies here. You got, I guess that's a showgirl. It's like a neck and neck and a silky mix. More silky. I picked up five Rhode Island red pullets. They should be laying in the next week or two. And then my wife picked up four guineas. She wanted three light ones, which she thinks are females, and then the dark ones are males, she thinks. But guineas are so hard to tell. Thank y'all for following along. Make sure you go subscribe. Smash that like button comment and hit the notification bell bonnet oak acres out